Heathers. The 80s cult classic where none of the three characters called Heather are the protagonist and Christian Slater tries to do a Jack Nicholson impression for an hour and a half. And there are no stupid questions. This dark comedy written by Daniel Waters arguably marked the end of the John Hughes era. Shit. Exploring the darker and more brutal reality of high school cliques and the glorification of suicide. Despite the narrative being questionable at times, see JD literally pulling out a gun in the school cafeteria. This is genuinely one of my favourite films and whenever I watch it there's always one element that stands out the most and that's their use of colour. Now this is in no way subtle, like this is the inside of Heather Chandler's kitchen. So instead of dissecting the obvious, I'm going to explain how colour is cleverly intertwined into JD and Veronica's relationship. Blue is clearly established as Veronica's colour, one that is associated with depth and stability, contrasting the fiery red of Heather Chandler. This is especially noticeable at the Remington party, where the overpowering red light indicates that Veronica feels trapped by the wrath of Heather, with the blue light becoming more dominant when Veronica finally stands up for herself. Lick it up, baby. Lick it up. It's this blue Veronica that ultimately kills Heather, with this fight catalyzing them up to her murder, and even the bleach that JD gives her, leaving an obvious blue stain on her tongue, emphasizing Veronica's contribution to her death. Despite this, afterwards we see Veronica feeling her most powerful, having got away with murder and falsely thinking she's made a positive impact on the school. Here she dresses the most blue, even boldly wearing a blue suit to Heather's funeral. Technically, I did not kill Heather Chandler. When Veronica is trapped with Kurt and Ram, this blue light behind JD, paired with a low angle shot, makes him seem like her guardian angel. Some people see this as JD falsely lulling Veronica into a sense of trust, which I agree with. But I also think this shows that JD is finally feeling comfortable around someone who's shown compassion for him. Until this point, the colours associated with JD have been black, with his dark trench coat representing his cold exterior. After the rescue is the only scene in which we see JD with no outer shell, showing how Veronica has also broken down his walls and he feels comfortable being his albeit psychopathic, self. By also dressing him in blue-toned clothing, the closeness and trust between the pair is emphasised, which is why Veronica so naively believes that the bullets won't kill Kurt and Ram. She knows and understands Blue, therefore she knows and understands JD, right? You believed it because you wanted to believe it. The next time we see them after murdering the boys is the only time that Veronica is not in Blue. Her purple blazer here is used to highlight how she started doubting her morals, no longer feeling like herself as she's beginning to see through JD's facade. Here, his red shirt is used as a symbol of the power and exhilaration he's gained from the murder, unlike Veronica, who's feeling like a murky and detached version of her past self. Red is Veronica's foil. It's always an obstacle for her, whether it be in the form of JD or the lead Heather. And though sometimes a bit on the nose, the more subtle use of colour throughout subconsciously guides the audience through the character's inward conflict. Yeah,